Hello there. I'm going to read you some of my favorite fairy tales. Are you ready? Let's get started. This one is called Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, a boy named Hansel and his sister Gretel lived with their father and stepmother in the woods. Their father was a poor woodcutter who loved them very much, but their stepmother was very mean and wanted to get rid of Hansel and Gretel. One day, she secretly took them far into the woods and left them there. Hansel was a very smart boy. She dropped a trail of breadcrumbs through the forest so that they could find their way back home. But then they discovered some hungry birds ate up the breadcrumbs, so they remained lost. Hungry and tired, they walked deeper into the forest. Finally, they came upon an amazing sight. A house made of gingerbread, candy, and chocolate. They ran toward the house and began gobbling up the candy. Suddenly, a wicked witch came out of the house and grabbed Hansel and Gretel. Fairy children, I built this house as a trap, and now you're both mine, she said. The witch locked Hansel in a cage and forced Gretel to do chores all day long. Hansel and Gretel were very sad. They didn't know what to do. Then, one day the witch began to heat up a fire in a great big oven. Gretel saw her chance, and she pushed that mean witch into the oven. Gretel unlocked Hansel's cage, and together they escaped into the forest. After a few days, they finally found their home. Their stepmother was gone, and their father was so happy to see them, and they lived happily ever after. What did you think of that story? Should Hansel and Gretel have stayed away from the house made of candy? Have you heard the story about the magic beans? It's called Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there lived a boy named Jack and his mother. They were very poor and owned nothing but a single cow. One day, Jack's mother made a decision. We need to sell the cow, she said. Jack, take the cow to the market and get a good price. Jack took the cow and headed to town. On his way, he met a stranger. The stranger said, Don't sell your cow. Give it to me, and I'll give you some magic beans in return. Jack took the magic beans in exchange for the cow. When Jack's mother saw what Jack had done, she was very upset. She yelled, Magic beans? I'll show you! And she threw the beans out the window. She sent Jack to his room without any supper. The next day, Jack looked out the window and saw an amazing sight. The magic beans had grown into a tall beanstalk that stretched into the sky. What was up there? Jack went outside and began to climb it. Jack climbed so high that he was above the clouds. There, he found a beautiful castle. What was in it? Jack snuck into the castle. In the castle, Jack heard a deep voice say, I smell the breath of an Englishman. Jack got scared and hid in a cupboard. He peeked out and saw a big, scary giant. The giant walked in carrying a goose and a golden harp, which he set on the table. Hey! shouted the giant. The goose obeyed and laid a golden egg. Sing, commanded the giant. The harp began to sing. The giant sat down and closed his eyes. Soon he fell asleep. Jack came out of his hiding spot. He grabbed the harp and the goose and ran away. This woke the giant up. Sing, four, 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 he shouted. Jack began climbing down the beanstalk. The giant chased after him. When Jack reached the bottom, he ran to get an axe. He chopped down the beanstalk, and it fell to the earth with a crash. Jack never saw the giant again. With their new treasures, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. Wasn't that a wonderful story? If you were Jack, would you have traded the cow for the magic beans? Let's get to the next fairy tale about a young girl with some very long hair. It's called Rapunzel. 
once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl named Rapunzel. She was raised by a witch who kept her locked up in a high tower with no door and only one window. For years, Rapunzel was lonely and her only visitor was the witch. Rapunzel had the most beautiful woman. to run away from home. 
was a cute little thing who wanted to have a baby for a long time. When they finally had a baby girl, they threw a big party and invited seven fairies in the kingdom. They each presented special presents for the new princess. The first fairy gave the princess the gift of beauty. One by one, the other fairies gave her the gift of singing, dancing, playing music, and more. But the king and queen had forgotten one thing. The eighth fairy had not been invited. The eighth fairy was so upset, she stormed into the party and gave the most horrible and frightening gift. When the princess turns 16, she will prick her finger and die, wished the eighth fairy. Everyone was terrified. But one fairy had not yet given her gift. She then called the king and queen and said, No, she shall not die. She will fall into a deep sleep, and so shall all the court. After a hundred years, a prince shall come and wake the princess with a kiss. Although the king had banned all needles from the kingdom, when the princess turned 16, she found a secret staircase in the castle that led to an old woman with a spinning wheel. The princess had never seen a spinning wheel before, so she reached out and touched it. The princess pricked her finger and suddenly fell into a deep sleep. Her parents laid her in a beautiful bed and started falling asleep too. It took 100 years for a young prince to find the castle, which was almost hidden by overgrown thorny roses. The noble prince cut through the hedges until he found the sleeping princess. He kissed the sleeping beauty, and when she awoke, they fell in love. The bad fairy spell was finally broken. Everyone woke up, and the prince and princess lived happily ever after. the king and queen did the wrong thing by not inviting the eighth fairy? Is it time for another fairy tale?